you know, at my age, it's been a, a, a battle my whole adult life with weight. Uh, historically, or uh, you know, the whole family has been overweight, so it's always something that the more you eat, the better everybody looked at you. So it, I, I went along and I went up and down with weight loss and try to lose weight and all the rest of it. And I'd always postpone it and things like that. But in the last little while, going to the doctor, and the doctor gave me a diagnosis of being pre-diabetic and having high blood pressure, that really hit home. So I figured I better do something now. I'm getting on in years, and you know, I want to live as long as I can. So I figured I had to do something, and that's what I did. About 45 pounds in about a year and a half. I've stabilized. Uh, my doctor, because of my history of being on a roller coaster of weight loss and putting it back on, he wants to see that I can do it for at least two years before you change the medication. So I'm a year and a half into it and hopefully I can convince him. I think in the past, and, and I've done it many times over the years, is I would be overweight, recognize the fact, and I'd set a goal of losing X number of pounds. I would do the traditional dieting of, you know, eating salads and cutting back on all the chocolates and the sweets and all the rest of it. And it would take me a period of time and I'd reach my goal. And I'd go, ah, that's it, I'm finished. You know, and then I'd go, ah, I'm down to so many pounds and it's over. And then little by little, start eating the, the wrong foods or eating in excess and over time I'd gain it all back on again. So it wasn't life changing, it was sporadic. Uh, what I've learned is that you have to not change yourself. You are who you are. So if you can do a life change in things to say, okay, I love chocolate or I love potato chips or I love whatever, you still got to have those things, but in moderation. It's a life changing process. It's not a, you know, set a target, reach the target and go, it's over. No, well, I'm going to have this for the rest of my life. So the key was to learn how to eat correctly. Two, two major things. One was energy, um, you know, just wanting to do things and not being able to have the energy to do it. Having to have naps in the afternoon because you don't have energy, things like that. The other main thing was, and the term I can think of is embarrassment. You're overweight, you gotta buy clothes that are bigger, that kind of conceal the, the fact that you are overweight and you try to pretend you're not. And it, it, it makes it kind of difficult because, you know, you hold in your stomach or you have these big clothes and you are overweight, but you're kind of ignoring the issue. Absolutely fantastic. I think two key things in, in increasing that energy is the diet, not the, the, I don't want to say dieting because it's the life eating better and combining that with exercise. So well, those two factors have lots more energy, I have a stamina in what I want to do. And one of the things that surprises me at my age is increase in strength. Things that I can do now that I could do when I was in my 20s, and, but I haven't been able to do for years and it doesn't uh, affect me. I can just you know, pick things up that I, you know, just the strength is there now. I think a couple of things. I'd say it, it, it's a process. It's not overnight. Uh, you have to take baby steps. You have to um, learn how to eat. You have to accept yourself. Get away from the stereotype as I'm on a diet, therefore I like to eat a salads. That doesn't work. You have to speak to to dietitians. You have to learn the process of eating. What's good for you. Uh, what you can eat in moderation. You know, if you love chips, have your chips, but don't gorge yourself in chips. Have a little bit just to satisfy that urge. And combining all of those things, the, the eating, the dietitian, and an exercise. You need the exercise to pull it all together. No, not at all. Not at all. It's funny, you know, you go out with people that are on different um, ways of losing weight and they're going, I'll have salad. 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on a diet, I'm not, you know, I gotta have my salads. And I'll have just about anything on the menu. I'll change things, like I won't eat fries, I'll have a salad instead of fries and that. But I'll eat things off the menu in moderation if, when I get full, I take what I left, what's left home. You know, so I don't eat the volume of what I used to eat, but I haven't really changed that much, except the process of eating, if I could put it that way. probably have good days and bad days. There's going to be days when I'm going to go to a party or something and maybe eat too much. But that's the way it is. It's, you know, and then you accept that. You don't get down on yourself. You say, well, I had too much yesterday. I'm not going to starve myself today. I'm just going to go back to the program, maybe exercise, go for a little bit longer of a walk or something. But I'm not going to change things. I'm just going to accept it and move on. change the way you eat, you combine that with speaking to somebody, you have to talk to somebody that can help you with that. I remember when I started and I'm going, ah, oh, this is a diet, I gotta eat salads, and in speaking to a dietitian, they're saying, no, 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 you gotta eat right, don't just eat salads. And I go, but I'm losing weight. No, no, but you're doing it wrong. So you gotta back out of that and really learn how to eat. You gotta recognize the importance of exercise. You gotta, you know, you gotta do your walking, you gotta, you know, join a gym, you gotta, uh, do it and do it right, but then don't do it by yourself. Do it in a, in, a, in a setting where there's a trainer that can show you how to do it, because if you run out and start lifting weights, you're going to hurt yourself. So do it and do it right. Plus, if you're starting like I did at point zero, you got to increase over time. You can't lift heavy weights on day one. You lift them with the lighter weights and you progress through that program. Um, the, um, so if you combine the exercise and the eating, and the, the other rule is you got to have the medical advice. You got to make sure that you can do the thing so you don't have some kind of a, a medical issue that could impede things. So you put wrap those three things together and you can move on. The other key thing I think is if you do it by yourself, uh, the probability of, of not succeeding is a little bit higher. You need the motivation of having a buddy or having people that can do it with you. Just that whole aspect because then it becomes much easier. It's not that you're driving each other, it's just you got a buddy, you got a, somebody you can talk to as you go through the process. I think that's key as well.